Hey everybody, Dr. Schwaz here. Today I'll be showing you guys a speedrun on Fuel Depot. For this version, we'll be spawning them by the helipad and the left left side by the fuel pumps and the right side by the fuel tanks. Just a disclaimer, this is a very sweaty run. <laughs> you, need, you need a good team, you need a good scout, engineer, sniper, soldiers. You need, need to work together to make this run succeed. It's definitely a fun, sweaty run, but you definitely need a good team for it. Before this loads in, I want to give shout outs to a couple of the people I ran this with. Um, Madikin, Big in the Game, Vault Drama Jr., Slaughter 00, Dr. Power X, Jaded Zombie, Grizzled Hulk, Prohuman 1942, and Lolly Force. Thank you guys for running with this map with me multiple times to test it and to get the footage for this speedrun. This is a three stationary uh, run. The scout and both soldiers have spots the engineer and the sniper, of course, free floaters here. Okay, the soldier that takes the street spawn, he will basically take cover. The spot is here at the end of the K rail, but it can be as far up as right about here by the car, right across the car. If you go any further up than that, they can spawn behind you. And in this spawn, you usually spawn the boss. The boss spawn right about there. Uh, we usually get the soldier to run back to the barrels in the back. We'll show you that later. Soldier plants. Back of the fuel pumps. Just want to breadcrumb the grenades out a little bit in the very beginning, especially on Julie Ways. And then they, that soldier plants the left side of the helicopter. The garage soldier on the opposite wrist on this spot is on this uh, boiler boiler tank here, just on the middle of it, on the side, not the front or back, just the side, just like that. The soldier plants these pipes by this tank. Just the inside of these. Try to keep it on the walls as much as possible. If you can, of course. And then breadcrumb some more out. Rod soldier plants the right side of the helicopter. Next is the scout position. The scout is just right at the end of this truck. Green truck right here, right there. Sort of runs fuel station, helipad, tanks, fabs inside the uh, warehouse in the middle here. Good spot for the NG is on those green crates right there. It's kind of in this kind of invisible line I'm shooting right here. It's a good spot for the engineer to be behind every single wave so that he doesn't push on uh, in any direction behind the scout or behind the soldiers. Just want to make sure you're far enough away. You don't Moving the fabricator. The fabricator location. One is centered with this sort of yellow rectangle ramp on the ground. Far back to the walls, you can get it. It's kind of picky, but not incredibly picky. Fabricator deployed. That should be good. As far as boss spawns, you want to want to spawn the boss in the street spawn here. Just use the boss spawn right here. 
Usually have a decoy at the K rail. Snatch your carrier. Goes right to it. Usually get the soldiers run back to these blue barrels so that we can hide and drop shot the, the boss, whatever it is, and stay away from any potential danger. In order to get the bosses spawned there, we need to block two other spots. This little snow cone right here, you want to find an aid right above that. And then there's another boss spawn on the other side of the map here, which is a little more difficult to find. Sort of, sort of looks like a broken heart or a tornado or I don't know what you want to call it, but that's the spot right there. I shoot it multiple times. You want to block that as well. Of course, if you get a castrol, you'll spawn up in the sky above that versus one there. Decoys up. This is the engineer setup. You, just, you have three sentries shooting into the fuel pumps here. Prepared. Usually move one into that little cubby to shoot into the corner. Here's the other side on the right. Two sentries and a barrier shooting into the pipes here. And then on the other side we got a barrier in case and a sentry in case they jump over. Hello, pal. We got two barriers, and two two regular sentries on both sides. Shocks are optional. Just in case you want them. Sentries up. This is the heaviest one. You want to make sure you have enough up here. Most of the enemies will spawn up top here. Got a map overhead view here. Another map over here. And here's a few boss ways. Pull Cormac on 20. I'm just from the engineer's perspective. Thirty, we get a carrier. Boss down. Get another swarmac on forty. Attack on the soldiers in the back, away from the boss. This is the final boss wave. You can see we're all competing for the final kill here. been a fuel depot helipad version thank you guys so much for watching